Hello, my name is Denise. Hello, my name is Nick. And we are from three students from our Leiden Method School, Hamilton. So today we are going to do experiments including dry ice and different food colorings. So basically here we have nine beakers which contain water at room temperature and different food colorings. These four beakers also have soap in them as well and we will see why because we are going to do three kinds of experiments. So I will be putting the dry ice in the first four beakers. Some safety precautions that you, that you should take are you should never handle dry ice with your bare hands. You should always use tongs and gloves. And if you're going to perform this experiment outside, you should make sure that there are no air currents. Well, as you can see, bubbles are forming. This is because the dry ice has a temperature below 78.5 degrees Celsius and the water is at the temperature at room temperature. Now, the function of the soap is to collect carbon dioxide coming out of the dry ice. It is, as you can see, um, it is spinning right now. This is because it is more dense than air. We are now going to add dry ice to these four beakers. And these four beakers do not contain salt, like the other ones. Well, as you can see now, they do not have any soap in them, so bubbles are not formed. Dry ice is a sublimated material, meaning they skip the liquid state and go straight to gas. Well, now we are going to add dry ice to this beaker. Carbon dioxide that is coming out of the dry ice, it is much more dense than air. So, as you can see, it is going downwards. I am now going to place and slide over the cloth, over the speed. As you can see, a bubble is formed. As you can see uh, also, the bubble is growing in size. That's because it is filling up with carbon dioxide.